Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In this video, we are going to install OpenWRT on the Ubiquiti Unified APLR. After that, we will configure it as an AP. According to the OpenWRT official guide, there are different ways to install the firmware. For shortware version 2 and 3, we can install OpenWRT from the added edge connection. However, for shortware version 4, we will need a console asset to run some commands from uBoot. And we can see on the Unified Controller Dashboard, my AP is currently on firmware version 4.0.14. Therefore, we will need to install the firmware with Zero Console and TFTP. While we are still on the stock firmware, let's run the speed test. It is 22 for download and 47 for upload speed. Let's switch to the Unified AC light to see the actual speed. As you can see, the download speed is 238 and the upload speed is 258. We should be ready to go now. Let's disassemble the AP. First, remove the Ethernet cable. And then I will use a skill driver to open four screws at the back. Now let's open the four internal skew that hold the ball. Gently pull the ball out from the case. Let's take a closer look on the ball. We can see the Atheras AR7241 chief. There's nothing at the back. In order to accept the AP console port, we will need a USB to zero or USB TTL cable. I am using the cable with CH340 chip changes from Cytron. The VCC pin should not be connected. Let's open Putty and see what is happening when we boot up the AP with stock firmware. The port is COM3. This can be checked on device managers. The speed is 112500 and hit open. Let's connect the Ethernet cable with PoE to the board. The board is powering on and there is no more console update after the kernel was started. Let's back to the guy. As mentioned previously, firmware version 4 failed to upgrade via TFTP and we will need to flash the firmware with console port and TFTP. First of all, let's download the firmware. Please note that we need the system upgrade.bin file instead of the factory.bin. Let's change the IP address of the Ethernet adapter of the computer to 192.168.1.254. And then open TFTPD64 application, select the folder of the firmware and the Ethernet adapter. Make sure it is 192.168.1.254. It's time to connect the PC to the AP. If you are using a Ubiquiti PoE adapter, the LAN port of the PoE adapter should be connected to the PC while the PoE port is connected to the AP. We are still connecting to the console port of the AP with COM3. As soon as the AP power on and the text hit any key to stop auto boot, please spam any key on your keyboard to interrupt the booting sequence. Please be reminded that at this time, if you make a small mistake, the AP can be totally break. Therefore, please proceed at your own risk. Let's copy and paste the command tftb boot 0x blah 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 which is the address of the NAN and the name of the firmware. To paste the command line, you can just copy and right click to paste. Make sure the firmware name ends with dot bin and hit enter. 
If the cable is connected correctly and the TFTP server is running, you will see the loading screen like what I am seeing. We seem to have a problem. There are two TFTP sections to the server. Let's turn off the Wi-Fi and make sure only one Ethernet interface is activated during the installation and try again. This time, it looks better. Actually, this is the second time I installed OpenWRT on this AP. That's why there is checksum bad error on the console. If this is your first time installation, or you are coming from the stock firmware, there should be no error message like this. Let's move on. Run the next command to erase the flash memory. This one takes time. Finally, run the cb.b command to write the OpenWRT firmware on the flash memory. Done, which means the installation is done. It's time to reset the AP and boot up OpenWRT. Perfect. We can see that OpenWRT is booting on the Ubiquiti Unified APLR. Now we can connect the AP to the switch or router instead of the PC. Let's edit the network configuration file and turn the UAPLR into an AP. Looks like the network interface is not ready. Let's wait for it. I will run IF config to see what interfaces do we have on the AP. It is simple. Only BRLAN and Ethernet 0. Let's edit the network configuration file with V. Press the I key to switch to the insert mode. My network is currently 192.168.1.1/24, and I will assign the static IP 192.168.1.111 to the AP. Once we done, press the EXC key and colon WQ to write and quick. Now we can save the changes and restart the network service. I will change the computer network adapter to DSCP mode and connect to the AP at 192.168.1.111. Well done, OpenWRT team. Here we are, OpenWRT 19.07 running on the Ubiquiti Unified APLR. Let's go to Networks, Wireless to configure the wireless radio. First, click the Enable button. And then hit edit to modify the interface. I will leave the radio with default settings. Let's change the address ID to openwrt-unify-ap-lr and set a password. We can also turn on A02 the 11 are fast running if there are multiples openwrt on the network. Hit save and save and apply once we done. Let's test the speed with my phone. Looks great. 
we're having around 54 Mbps for upload and download. I will change the radio to channel 6, which the stock firmware run previously to test again. The result is very close, 50 MBBS for download and 45 MBBS for upload. So, with OpenWRT, we can't monitor the AP with Unified Controller anymore, but we can still see the real-time statistics with NAC data. I will show you how to install it. First of all, we need to update the package database on system software. It looks like we have a connection problem. The reason is I have yet to configure the DNS server and the gateway. Let's do that on network interfaces. Let's update the package database. This time it works. Now search for net data and install it. The command finish with no output. Let's try if we can accept the NetData dashboard. Unfortunately, it is not working. Let's see if we can restart the NetData service. There is also not file, so I will reboot the router and let's see if it works. The router is ready, let's try again. Great, net data is working and we can see all the real-time statistics on the browsers. Let's run the speed test with net data dashboard and see if all the information is updated on the web GUI. Great, so everything is running smoothly, OpenWRT and net data. So, so far, we have installed OpenWRT on the Ubiquiti Unified AP LR and it is working great. Right. Do you have the same AP or interested on running OpenWRT on this AP? And what kind of test do you want me to do with the AP? Feel free to leave it on the comment section. Thanks for watching and I will be see you all in the next video. Bye bye.